Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask AJ. So recently, Fab has been in the news and the folks at Epic Games have gotten a bit of backlash for this. Now, when Fab was recently announced, of course, there was a lot of critics about how the platform wasn't working. The whole idea that there was a whole integrator that wasn't really working with Unreal Engine. Later on, they came up with some means where you can now access Fab from Unreal Engine. You know, it's just been a whole messy situation since Fab was announced. And for those who have no idea, Fab is a brand new marketplace from the folks at Epic, which is a combination of Unreal Engine market store Sketchfab, which is still a brilliant website for anyone looking for high quality 3D models. And of course, some stuff coming from the folks at ArtStation. Now, the cool idea with Fab is for it to be one gigantic marketplace where you can find assets and resources for Unity, Unreal Engine, Unreal Engine Fortnite, Maya, Blender, all that stuff. So the idea behind this is one website that rules them all when it comes to 3D stuff. But that hasn't been going so well now, or has it? Because recently, they've come under fire for having a ton of AI-generated content which seems to be populating the entire website. And as much as AI-generated content is not so much of a bad thing, especially if you're using this for like personal use, maybe you're using this as references, or potentially using it as a means to kit bash stuff, having these on a platform where you get to purchase it and possibly just, you know, ridiculously pump things out like this, seems to be one thing that a lot of people are not so happy about and even more so fab doesn't have any means of mitigating or checkmating this and this seems to be popping up almost everywhere on fab without any button to turn this on or turn it off just like we have with ArtStation. and to address this the folks at epic games released a press statement that deals with the updates on product generated with ai saying that a fab creator recently published over 41,000 plus ai generated assets in a short time frame overwhelming the system we have for managing and surfacing content we're sorry for the degradation of the fab experience everyone experienced and here is a summary on how our rules apply in this situation and how we are adapting our approach to deal with incidents like this. First off, content that are not identified properly with the created with AI settings violate fab terms. When we dictate or receive reports that publishers may be misrepresenting their work, we contact publishers to investigate and take the content down if the publisher intentionally misclassifies it. In this particular case of the 41,000 plus AI generated content, we've investigated and took actions to remove this publisher from Fab. And they've got some additional stuff that they also have put together that will help make Fab a welcoming place for creators and for anyone who wants to put up contents right there. And two things that they've put together is a report abuse form which is now here, so you can now report product. If you think they are misrepresenting and maybe you want them to be taken out, you can now report. And they've also added something else, which has to do with a content preference. Say for example, if we go over to Fab and I choose to search for a stone tower, we get to find a ton of stone towers right here. So we can now simply click on this button and say, we don't want to show products generated with AI. And once we click on save, automatically that gets updated. Some products disappeared while some products still stayed. However, I think there's also a few products that are still here, which in whatever sense they say misrepresentation, one like this is still misrepresenting these, as you can tell that a product like this is still AI generated and it wasn't even filtered. So there is a, a few stuff going on right now. And this is quite reminiscent to what the folks at QBrush recently did. And we already made a video about that. So if you like to follow up and see, you know, the whole idea of whether they're going to be having AI content on your platform or not, you can simply take a look at the video and see some stuff. But right now, the folks at Epic are responding to all of those stuff and all of this AI generated stuff by simply throwing in a button that can help you hide or show AI generated content. And possibly if you don't want to work with AI generated content, this is going to make your life easier. So this is it. For those who like to take a look at all of this and potentially you like to check out some resources or maybe check out some cool stuff that are now available that you can take full advantage of, then links to all of that is going to be in the description. So do well to check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.